convinced at this point that Christopher Landon makes horror films just for me because when you look at Happy Death Day, it's Groundhog Day meets Slashers. And when you look at his latest film coming out this Friday, it's Freaky Friday meets Slashers. That's just awesome. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing Freaky, which is about a girl who, after swapping bodies with a deranged serial killer, a young girl in high school discovers she has less than 24 hours before the change becomes permanent. Once again, this is written and directed by Christopher Landon. It stars the likes of Catherine Noon and Vince Vaughn. And if you guys are new here and you guys love talking movies just as much as I do, or in general, just love talking TV, video games, or any other sort of geeky content, I do all that sorts of stuff over here on a daily basis. So hit that like and subscribe button, as well as comment down below and let me know your guys thoughts are you guys excited for freaky are you not let's discuss it all down there Trailer dropped for this just a couple months ago and i absolutely loved it vince vaughn catherine newman i love what they were doing with this they're switching bodies and i wanted to see vince vaughn in this you know i miss seeing the guy in films he used to be in so many and it feels like when we get him it's a big giant surprise and he's lately been going more in the dramatic route whether it's with uh, dragged across concrete or also brawl and cell block 99 which if you didn't see that film you probably didn't know how menacing he could be and you'll probably get a lot of that in freaky as well because when he is the serial killer in here he very much embodies the likes of jason and michael myers and you know when you do look at brawl and cell block 99 you see that the way they are able to frame him in that film and landon takes that same framing style and brings it in here because within the first 10 minutes you were sucked into how badass and also how brutal this guy can be the murders in here alone are some that will be ingrained in your head for quite a while. And I give major props to Landon on that. Sometimes when you watch a horror film and a kill happens, it turns away and it just makes you think, what happened just there? Nope, in here, he shows you every inch of the kills, even downright to the most brutal parts of it. Again, props to Landon on that. I did not expect to see that in this film, but I was very much impressed with that. Same with the likes of the performances in here. Again, Vince Vaughn is great in here, whether he's a serial killer or he's playing Catherine Newton's character, Millie. He's great as either or. We've seen, you know, older men playing younger girls, whether it's Jack Black and Jumanji or now Vince Vaughn in Freaky. And Vince Vaughn kills it, whether it's the mannerisms, the way that he walks, talks, moves, all the sorts of aspects of it add to him becoming million to sort of the some smaller subtle details that we see earlier in the film every little thing has a reason to play inside this film and every single thing comes back into play and maybe you can find that to be a little bit predictable but i had fun with that element because of the way that i was able to see how it framed these characters in certain lights also talking about Catherine newton who i've been pretty much a big fan of i think she's great and charming and charismatic and she brings that in here but whether you want to look at her as either the final girl in here when it comes to horror or the actual slasher icon in this film, then we got a debate to go on in here. I want to know your guys' thoughts on that because she's phenomenal as both. But as the slasher, oh god, she's great in this. She's not just menacing, but she's hella scary. And once she comes in the frame and you know she's probably going to kill someone... It gets brutal, and I love what Newton was able to do in this role, and I think what Landon was able to frame for her and Vince Vaughn to really perform in here was absolutely delightful. If you like Happy Death Day, then you know what you're getting into with this film, because it's made by the exact same filmmaker. This is not a horror film that's going to take itself so seriously, and sometimes that's my favorite type of horror, because my favorite horror franchise is The Evil Dead, and that is definitely a franchise that is very much battered with humor, but also blood and guts and horror elements of alike and freaky is that same type of movie where yes you're gonna laugh you're gonna honestly maybe even fall on the floor laughing at times but not because of the way that the film plays out it's because it's genuinely funny and it's genuinely at times pretty intense and that's what i love about what landon is able to frame inside these films he is such a talented director and writer in this that i just want horror films from him forever and that's why i really hope that we do get another happy death day because i want to see where those adventures continue he's able to bring about and take these concepts that we're very much familiar with but twist them on its side and completely change them up into such a fun horror vibe and it does come to cons though let's get my cons out of the way for freaky i don't think this film is perfect i do think it's pretty great though i think it's a lot of fun my one issue that came down to this film actually came down to the ending of this i like the ending overall but there seems to be two different types of endings there's one thing where you're like oh the story's done and then something happens and you're like oh no there's still some more to go about and it's still going and you're like okay this should have been the original ending because 
the other ending that kind of happened in this film felt a little bit anticlimactic, and then it happens, and then it all ends, and that's it. And again, I liked where that went. I just, I like where it all ended. I just wish it would have gotten there a little bit sooner. It kind of halted the pacing just a bit. And with a fast-paced movie that really, you know, for an hour and 40 minutes, it flew by until that moment where I knew what was going to happen. And I'm like, God. And yes, maybe that is a giant homage because there are tons of homages to, say, Halloween, Friday the 13th, and even I Know What You Did Last Summer. And I like that. I just wish it would have gotten there a little bit more seamless and maybe we didn't need all of the homages, especially towards the end. What can I say? Freaky is a freaky bloody fun time that I just had a big smile on my face watching this. Catherine Newton's great, Vince Vaughn's great, and Christopher Landon just tailor makes these horror films for me. You guys are going to have a blast with this one. And if you don't, then something's wrong with you. You're going to have a big smile on your face. You're going to laugh. You're going to enjoy the kills. That's exactly what this film is all about. It's about having fun and poking fun at the Freaky Friday concept. If it's again, it's Freaky Friday meets like what Halloween and Friday the 13th. That's just bonkers insane. And I love that. So with all that said, I'm going to give Freaky a B plus. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. You guys are seriously all the best. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button once again, as well as head on over to Sam Shum Films on how to see films early. And of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. And as well, if you guys are interested in getting 10% off your Into the AM shirts, head down to the link down below. We're doing some specials right now. And as well, maybe you'll even get a free shirt. Thank you guys again. And of course, until next time, stay classy.